Pip Hair's newly purchased Amoka has its stability test. In this video, Pip explains the 90 degree test and the final steps in the preparation to get Medallia back on the water for the 2023 race season. So just to give you an overview of the writing moment and what we're measuring, I thought I'd just do a little demonstration with a cork and a bucket. So, so what we're gonna do is lean the boat over sideways until the mast is at 90 degrees to the water. So I'm going to dive down and attach the strop to the bottom of the keel. And we're gonna do that by lifting the keel up using a crane. And then when the mast is at 90 degrees to the water, we're going to attach a load cell to the top of the mast and measure the up force that this keel is exerting on the mast. Luckily, we don't have to do it that often. Um, it's normally every one day cycle and every time you do significant work to the boat. This is the Weekly Sailing Highlights Show, The World on Water, June 30, 2023. On the fourth and final day of the Giorgio Armani Superyacht Regatta, the forecast breeze failed to arrive on the race course. As the expected westerly wind did not materialize in the late morning, the race committee postponed the start for both the Superyacht and Southern Wind Division several times, right up until 1.30 p.m., when the committee boat was forced to signal that there would be no further racing. Giorgio Armani Super Yacht Regatta is really a fun event. It's a mix of, you know, spirited competition, but also having a great time. Great for the club to host those events, and Portocello is the best event for super yacht sailing. They're doing a good job as well. They're all very good sailors, you know, beautiful boats. You know, this is why we come to Porto Cervo, is to do that race. And it was just great breeze. partner that shares these values and I am very convinced that we will be better every single year and that we will create um, events that everybody will love to participate in and come to Costa Smalda and Yachtclub Costa Smalda. We had a fantastic week. Um, the results were surprising to us. We came in here uh, definitely not expecting uh, to, to come away with a, a first position. Uh, Marco and Francesca are over the moon. They have been 
in the super yachts for a long time and uh, haven't won for a little while, so it was nice to have a victory. Super Yacht Cup Palma 2023 got underway in typically excellent sailing conditions out on the Bay of Palma, with an 8 to 10 knot breeze under blue skies greeting the diverse fleet gathered for the 27th edition of Europe's longest running Super Yacht Regatta. The Bay of Palma delivered in full measure on day 4, with 15 to 20 knots of breeze turbocharging racing at the 2023 Super Yacht Cup Palma across the entire shimmering blue arena on New Zealand race day. We are sailing only media. Please subscribe, share, like, and check the alerts bell. The addition of new cyclers to the Emirates team, New Zealand team, means on water safety training for them all. Simon will jump in if he needs to. Yeah. Okay. We're just running these guys through a capsize procedure, so we're dipping them in the water. They can practice releasing from the pedals and you know using the spare air and just getting comfortable having a bit of water around them. You have a nice sort of uh, thing trapped in a sinking ship and you go down and feeling the water come up, so it's nice to sort of get that all sorted here in a nice safe environment before we go out test it for real. You know that I'm in safe hands if I'm the one coming to rescue me. You're alive. You're pretty much just ripping his foot out of the shoe, eh? Yeah. Not trying to open the shoe up. I'm yeah. twisting it. I think it's just a matter of just doing it a few times and trying to relax, I guess, in the situation. Whatever you need to do if your feet are trapped, you know the scenario. So it's not going to be the last time we use it. I think we just keep going through the different scenarios and try and nail it. Yeah, it's an odd sensation. I think the, the biggest thing is just spend a couple of seconds just kind of finding a new calm, working the situation out and then go from there. It's a bit daunting to begin with, getting the feel for you know, holding your breath and getting the spare air and everything, so no, it was, it was a bit of fun, eh? Even if you are like, kind of ready for it, you know, you still still get pretty excited as it's going down. It all happens reasonably fast when, you're, um, when your heart rate's a bit elevated. Yeah, it was good. You know, it's really nice to be able to release yourself or have someone else release you. The opening day of the 2023 GC32 Lagos Cup saw the fleet of hydrofoiling catamarans race just off of Portugal's Maia Praia Beach. 
Five races were played out in conditions of up to 20 knots, with the Danish team Rockwell Racing led by Nikolai Sehested taking all five race wins on day one. After first day's five race 20 knot opener, the second day of the 2023 GC32 Lagos Cup saw conditions that were too light for the GC32 Racing Tour Race Committee to run any races. Fantastic day sailing, uh, breeze building throughout the day, awesome conditions, flat seas, usual what we expect in Lagos and it's delivered again. So I, it's for me one of the best days of sailing I've had here. We're happy to be here, beautiful weather, beautiful sun, glam conditions on the water, flat water. You cannot imagine more, you cannot ask for more. We just completed five races, beautiful conditions starting up from 12 knots up to 22 knots. This is a lot of fun, tight competition between everybody, um, some, you know, some great, uh, great sailing. Of course our competitors are strong and it's all about perfection in high performance sailing, it's all about perfection. We're happy to be here, we're happy to learn from the be better guys than us and we're happy to close the gap to them. So some days you wake up, you know it's just going to be a hard right from the word go. Today we uh, had an option to start at 11 o'clock. We held the fleet ashore for three hours while the wind decided what to do. There were signs of it building. We then brought the fleet out to start a race. They had a great 20 minutes before the start, uh, foiling around in eight or nine knots. And then unfortunately the wind just died away. The next two days are improving. Uh, we hope day three we'll get some racing in. Three days of inspiring racing at Super Yacht Cup Palma 2023 concluded today, with the 24M far-designed Rose becoming the first Wally yacht to win Europe's longest-running Super Yacht Regatta. The ST Regis Race Day finale delivered another instalment of the excellent race conditions that the Bay of Palma is famed for, with 10 to 12 knots of wind and bright sunshine. <laughs> Thank you.
As the echoes of the seafaring call gradually fade, we stand in reflection of the Swan Sardinia Challenge 2023, a spectacle of tenacity, skill, and the indomitable spirit of the sailing community. Throughout the intense races, the shimmering Sardinian waters served as the perfect stage for a display of unparalleled competitiveness and camaraderie. Tell me, what do you love the most of Club Swan? Um, the high speeds, some close racing, sailing with this awesome team, train our sandwind. It's, it's really good fun. High adrenaline. Good shot! Good, fast sailing. I like the competitiveness of the class. I love the intense racing. The racing is so competitive. The fact that there are so many boats. The, the atmosphere in the whole fleet. Everyone is super friendly on the dock, everyone knows each other, and it's nice to have all the boats together. The teams on the dock are really friendly to each other, and on the water is always a big fight. The boat downwind is incredible. Windy downwinds. It's still a great venue, it's a great class, it's a great regatta circuit really. And you know, it's just the first full one of this year, so we've got plenty more to go, plenty more excitement to have, and I'm sure plenty more different winners. And not only my crew, but also the rest of the teams and owners, I mean, we get along very well, so very exciting, very good uh, start of the season. Uh, this is fantastic. It's a uh, proof of the nice team effort we had for the last five, six years. And, and I love it. It's like, very exciting that we keep up this. Yeah.